Good morning, everybody. Tony here. Uh, I've come ever since I bought this uh, pistol. This is a uh, 1911 B45 duty model. I, ever since I bought it, I was wanting to do a review on it. So I do have the time. We are on lockdown at the moment. Um, the Corona virus, the COVID-19. So I have some time to do that before I do leave. I do have to leave. I do have a chimney to do in Talladega. So uh, I have been doing a lot of work at Tuscaloosa. And their uh, mayor, I forget his name, um, Walt something, Walt Maddox. Uh, he he just said they're about to start implementing tickets to people there for uh, not doing what they're supposed to be doing by staying in. Um, and I am smoking a cigarette in this room, and that is something that I normally don't do. But I'm going to make an exception this time because I'm going to do this pistol review. Okay, first, because I was trained by the best. That Vietnam veteran on the wall back there, that bottom photo, he's got an M60 machine gun like Rambo had, okay? <laughs> and first blood part one, that, that is an M60 machine gun. It shoots 1,150 rounds a minute. Serious firepower, okay? The picture above that, that's him in South Carolina, Paris Island. He's got various medals there. You know, you got a Purple Heart up top, the uh, Navy Unit Accommodations, the Vietnam Cross of Gallantry, National Defense. Uh, there is an Expert Pistol medal and a Sharpshooter Rifle medal there. So he was a pretty highly decorated Marine, in my opinion. You know, he was awesome. But uh, he taught me and instilled discipline in me in guns, taught me how to clean them. I was taking AK-47s, AR-15s apart when I was 14, 15 years old. And, uh, and I learned very quick. I was a quick learner because he was a dick. He would, uh, he would, uh, ho he would holler and scream at you, man, until you learn. Uh, so you were going to, like a drill instructor, so you were going to learn or you were going to get cussed like a dog, basically. All right, so... With that being said, let's go ahead and make this gun safe. Now, I never keep, see how beautiful. We're going to go over some of the features. Look at that beast. This is 45 ACP. Um, we'll go over some of the features with this gun. This is... Uh, one of the more higher end that t sauce makes of the 1911s is the B45. B45 uh, duty model. Okay, so I never keep a round chambered because it only takes a second to lock and load your weapon. So I just see the easy mag release. That's awesome. So I keep hollow points. Ready to rock and roll with that. Um, now, the gun is empty. Knock it off safety. You want to check it? There's nothing in the gun. It's empty. Okay. And we'll take a look at the trigger release. Hear how crisp and tight. It, this gun is tight, man. I'm telling you. Listen, not one rattle. Well, you hear a little rattle there, and that's because of the beaver tail. That's normal. This is, it does have the extended beaver tail, and uh, that's awesome to have that extended beaver tail. Then you also have the skeletized um, hammer. See, when it comes back, you can get that hammer bite. And I'm telling you right now, it'll bite the shit out of you. It hurts. I've been bit by Glocks and stuff through my life. Um, different guns. Never 1911, but this one will never bite you because of the extended beaver tail. This one, unlike a lot of them, it does have the uh, Novak style three dot sights where you can uh, get a better shot off. The sleekness of it is awesome. I love that compared to the 45 Glock of mine. Um, stainless steel barrel. 
which is awesome. So I said, skeletized hammer, skeletized trigger, and we heard the trigger. It's just awesome, man. Um, and we're talking five hundred dollars here. As you see the the finish. That's Cerakote. That's a Cerakote finish. Um, it's uh, it also has right here is your ambidextrous safety. You know, so you, you, it's really good to have that. In my opinion, I'm ambidextrous. I do a lot of things with my right hand, which is shooting a gun is one of them. So, um, you know, so you got your safety. So, uh, now this is what a lot of people refer to as a hog of a pistol. It's a beast. It's big. And it's something that I really wouldn't recommend wearing around every day on a regular basis because unless you're a police officer or something, you have the better gear. I mean, this is my street belt, you know. Uh, it, see how it's sagging my... It's sagging because it's so big of a weapon and you know you need something a little smaller in my opinion to to carry on person I do have a permit to carry but this is usually where I can get to it pretty quick I don't want to really carry it on me because I mean you can take your shirt and I mean see it's just like he's got something on his shirt I mean you can do it I mean there's no way not to tell. I can have a leather jacket. You're going to know. Um, when I get back to this, um, we're talking. I paid $500 for this gun, okay? I mean, you, you can't beat it, man. I have shot a lot of forty fives, pair of ordinances, Kimbers, Colts, and I'm going to tell you, this gun right here it also has a little place here where you can uh, you can lock and load your gun here if you want to you know right there. And that chrome barrel it is beautiful. Now see right here you can just slide it back, lock and load it as you do normally here. Okay, um, you can take a look right here if you'd like. The chrome barrel. Now I've taken this gun apart. I've taken this gun apart three times. You have to be careful. If you don't know what you're doing, you can really scratch up your gun right in here. You can really scratch it up by taking this out. When you take this out, if you don't put it back in just right, this the slide has to be back at the right distance to match up with the little uh the little cutout notch they have there and it'll slide right in with no problem but if you don't have it right I'm telling you it will it'll it's hell getting it in so it's a little tougher to get in than it is um, than it would be your your Glock but uh, this is not that hard to field strip I did it in a I don't know five minutes I believe it was five to seven minutes uh, but it's um, it's very nice, and you know when you're looking at 1911s, you know we all know if you know anything about the history of firearms that 1911 it uh, it was the date that um, that the U.S. Army actually adopted this pistol. So. Uh, it, you know this. I mean, man, I just I can't believe the just the the tightness that, right, of this gun. It just it's no rattle at all in it. None. None. I mean, that is just awesome, man. Just. You can hear how tight. Awesome. Now, I have shot some of your higher-end 1911s that run up into the two and $3,000 mark, 
They shoot no better, and they perform no better than this pistol. And I can promise you that, because I have the experience in it, and I know. And I'm talking your Kimbers, your Colts, man. Um, you know, this gun is on point, let me tell you. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's hammer forged steel. It's all steel, unlike your Glocks. This is all steel. The only thing that isn't steel on this weapon is your grips. And that is, if I'm going to have anything negative to say about this gun, because as I said, it has the extended beaver tail, you know, and it has the three dot Novak style sights, the chrome barrel, skeletized trigger, skeletized hammer. I mean, man, what more do you want out of a, out of a pistol? And you got the big caliber there. It's 45. It's beautiful. Um, and, and some of these guns, these Kimbers and these Colts, 1911, you're paying for the craftsmanship. You're not paying for any of the performance of that weapon when it comes to a gun like this. This is a, you know, it, it shoots the same and it performs the way that the Kimber does. And you can look on uh, YouTube and you can check out some videos for yourself. See, these are dovetail. Sites. Yeah. See some of your um your uh, 1911s. The sights, they're, they're pretty much fixed. You can't uh you can't change them out and you can't adjust them. Here you can. Now, this is the 1911 from T-Sauce. There, there's some guys in Turkey. They make some awesome firearms, man. Some magazine-fed um, shotguns, etc. Really good stuff. And I've never heard one negative comment on these guys. Not any. As I said, this gun right here, if it were to malfunction, in my opinion, it would have been with uh, the hollow points. But it didn't. So, I was uh, happy to see that. But um, that's about all I have. Hey, take my word for it. Go get you one. I mean, because I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to beat that for the price. This is one hell, one hell of a hog, of a beast, of a pistol. I mean, it'll stop a grizzly bear in his tracks. I'm going to tell you. This thing right here, I shot a six by six southern pine and it went through and then out of the back and blew a hole the size of this painter's tape i'm gonna just tell you it's, it's no joke and you can uh change your um your grips on this gun as you see uh, th these grips i painted these i sanded it a little bit and uh i painted them a velvet brown because I didn't like the black ones that were on here, and I have some new ones on the way. But um, you can change that out. So that is one cool feature that the 1911 offers or, that you can't do with a lot of other firearms. Um, and I'm a carpenter by trade, one of my trades, uh, that you can... I make. Uh, I made some of these grips. This one has a, a clear coat finish on it, as you see. So um, you can make it look a little snazzier, if you know what I mean. Um... Sarah coat finish. She looks good. Just look at that. Look at it. <laughs> and uh, that's it. I am out. Y'all be safe. Do what you're supposed to do. Stay at home. Y'all have a good day. Go pick yourself up one. This one come from uh, Line of Fire, Moody, Alabama. They have them uh, down there now, I believe, for like 480, 470, somewhere along in that ballpark. But uh, hey, man, you're not going to beat it. It is, again, the 1911 by SDS Imports T Sauce. It is the B45. Duty. Have a good day. Later.